The mysterious lights of Proxima Centauri b the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the most advanced space observatory ever built, has made what could be one of the most astonishing discoveries in human history. During a recent observation session, JWST detected mysterious rays of light appearing to radiate from a specific region in deep space. These light emissions are not random. They seem to originate from a concentrated area, creating a brightness pattern that strongly resembles urban lighting. Even more incredible, these lights are illuminating a zone located over four light years away from Earth, an almost inconceivable distance by human standards. This discovery has captured the attention of the scientific community and the general public alike, reigniting the age-old question, are we truly alone in the universe? The object of JWST's attention was Proxima Centauri b, the closest known exoplanet orbiting a star outside our solar system. JWST detected unusual luminous flashes coming from this rocky planet, raising the extraordinary possibility that we may be observing artificial light, something deliberately produced, perhaps by intelligent beings. For decades, scientists have searched the stars for any sign of alien civilizations. Yet, nothing has ever seemed quite so structured, intentional, and city-like, until now. If the lights on Proxima Centauri b are truly artificial, this could represent the first real evidence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. These findings, while still under review, have stunned scientists and engineers alike at NASA and around the world. Some experts speculate that the lights may have been shining for centuries or even millennia waiting for human technology to finally become advanced enough to detect them. Dr. David Kipping, an astrophysicist from Columbia University, called Proxima b a highly unusual and complex world. Unlike most rocky exoplanets that simply absorb solar energy and re-emit it as heat, Proxima b seems to behave differently. Its interaction with its parent star, Proxima Centauri, is unique possibly causing atmospheric or thermal conditions that differ greatly from what we observe in our solar system. JWST played a pivotal role in these observations due to its unparalleled infrared sensitivity. While traditional telescopes rely heavily on visible light, JWST can detect faint heat signatures and wavelengths that are invisible to the human eye. This capability allowed it to observe thermal anomalies on Proxima b that suggest the presence of heat-emitting structures, possibly artificial. Scientists now aim to study the planet's atmosphere in greater detail. With its high sensitivity, JWST can detect even the weakest infrared signals, essential for understanding whether Proxima b could host life. Unlike stars, which emit across a broad light spectrum, man-made lighting typically falls within a narrow band. JWST is equipped to identify such distinctions, giving researchers a way to separate natural phenomena from possible technological activity. Proxima Centauri b's day and night cycles also raise important questions. The planet likely experiences extreme temperatures, ranging from scorching heat on the sun-facing side to frigid cold on the dark side. If the planet has an atmosphere, these temperature swings could drive complex weather patterns and provide important clues about its habitability. Joost's observations suggest that this world could very well have an atmosphere, which is a crucial element for supporting life. The next step is to analyze the chemical makeup of that atmosphere by observing how light interacts as it passes through it, a process called spectroscopy. By studying the light that filters through Proxima b's atmosphere, Scientists can detect molecules like water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide, key indicators that a planet may be able to support life. However, detecting free oxygen, one of the most important biosignatures, is much harder. Instead, astronomers may look for ozone, which forms from oxygen and could still serve as indirect evidence of biological processes. JWST is limited in the number of planets it can analyze in depth due to distance and observation time. That's why the next generation of telescopes, such as the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, scheduled to begin operations in 2027, is eagerly awaited by the scientific community. The ELT will help expand our understanding of distant worlds by offering sharper images and more precise atmospheric readings.
Together, JWST and ELT could form a powerful alliance, new tools, new worlds, and the path to first contact while JWST has opened a new chapter in space exploration. Its mission is only part of a much larger journey. One of the biggest challenges in observing distant exoplanets is the overwhelming brightness of their parent stars, which often drowns out the faint light reflecting from nearby planets. Even a highly advanced telescope like JWST struggles to see these subtle reflections without specialized equipment. To solve this issue, scientists are developing innovative technologies designed to block or filter out starlight so we can isolate the glow of exoplanets. One such solution is the coronagraph, a device built into telescopes that blocks the light of a star while allowing planetary light to pass through. By reshaping incoming light waves, coronagraphs significantly reduce star glare, enabling clearer observations of orbiting worlds. Another promising advancement is the Starshade, a massive, flower-shaped spacecraft positioned tens of thousands of kilometers away from the telescope. This device physically blocks starlight before it ever reaches the telescope's lens, letting only the much fainter planetary light come through. Using a starshade requires extraordinary precision. Alignment must be accurate to within a fraction of a millimeter across space, but if successful, it could revolutionize the way we study exoplanets. If these tools work as planned, scientists may soon be able to detect not only atmospheric elements but also biosignatures, combinations of gases that strongly suggest the presence of biological life. For instance, a mix of oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide in specific ratios could point to living organisms at work. But the search doesn't stop with chemical markers. Researchers are working toward direct, high-resolution imaging of exoplanets that could reveal oceans, continents, ice caps, and even cloud patterns. With the help of adaptive optics, which correct for image distortion caused by Earth's atmosphere or telescope movement, Future telescopes could give us crystal clear views of distant alien worlds. Imagine being able to see a planet's surface, its weather systems, seasonal shifts, or even signs of agriculture or industry. This is no longer science fiction. It is a technological reality that humanity is now working toward, step by step. Proxima Centauri b, in particular, has captivated scientists not just because of its closeness to Earth, but because of its position in the habitable zone, a region around a star where liquid water could exist. This so-called Goldilocks zone is neither too hot nor too cold, making it ideal for the development of life as we know it. If the suspected artificial lights on Proxima b are real, and not natural phenomena, it could suggest the presence of a technologically advanced civilization. This would represent a paradigm shift not just in astronomy but in human understanding of life itself. Many exoplanets, including Proxima Centauri b, are tidally locked, meaning one side always faces their star while the other remains in perpetual darkness. This results in harsh climate differences that could affect atmospheric circulation, weather, and potential for life. Understanding how such planets manage heat distribution is essential to determining their habitability. Without technologies like coronagraphs and star shades, it would be impossible to observe such subtle planetary features. The blinding light of stars has long hidden their neighboring worlds, until now. As these tools come online, we will finally be able to see exoplanets clearly, revealing secrets about their surface conditions, climate, and perhaps even signs of civilization. The prospect of observing exoplanets in ultra-high detail brings us closer than ever to answering one of the most profound questions in human history. Are we alone in the universe? The recent detection of what could be structured illumination, perhaps even artificial lighting, on Proxima Centauri b is more than a curiosity. It could be the beginning of a new era in space exploration, one in which contact with another intelligent species becomes more than just a dream. It's a moment of scientific awakening and philosophical reflection. If we discover we're not alone, how would it change the way we see ourselves, our civilization, and our place in the cosmos? How would humanity respond to evidence of a second intelligent species, living just a few light years away? The path ahead is filled with mystery, but also with hope. Every new observation, every new breakthrough, brings us closer to the ultimate revelation. With JWST leading the way, and next-generation instruments following close behind, 
We are on the threshold of discovery. The universe may not be silent after all. We just had to listen with better ears. And now,